in the previous video, we found the value of something. I believe it was the value of a guitar price following a bunch of successive percent increases and percent decreases. So it said something like at a guitar with some price X and then it goes up by 20% and then it goes down by 15%. What price does it end up at? Now in this video, we have to calculate the value of the percent change itself. So instead of giving us the percent change, having us solve for our price, in this case, we got to find what is that percent change itself. So to do that, you need to know your formula for finding percent change, which you should know already. But I will put it here as a reminder. So percent change is equal to your new value minus your old value all over your old or original value. So in this case, our question says, Subhut Corporation, see what I did there, makes money by buying and reselling tickets to sold out concerts and sporting events. For the year 2019, StubHut's profit from the resale of sporting event tickets was what percent greater than its profit from the resale of concert tickets? So in this case, if we want to figure out, well, what's our new value and what's our old value, they are telling us that our sporting event profits are greater than our concert profits. So you would want to make your sporting profits your new value because that way you will end up with a positive percent change. Um, and so we can think of this now as our sport. It's sport, but this means my sport ticket profits minus my concert ticket profits all over my concert ticket profit. This is our question. So a couple of things to keep in mind before we move on to our statements. So anytime you have a word problem, especially a data sufficiency problem, where it is asking you uh, to solve for a fraction or a percent or a ratio that contains two variables, you should always be keeping in mind that you don't need to solve for those two variables. In other words, while it would be true that if I were given my sporting profits and my concert profits, if statement one said my sport profits were a million dollars and statement two said my concert profits were $500,000, that would be sufficient to answer the question. But data sufficiency is really asking you for the minimum information needed to answer the question. Do not need both of your two variables because if you can just get one in terms of the other, if you can get a proportion relating the two. So for example, I know my sport profits are equal to three times my concert profits. Well, then I can just think of this as my sport profits are equal to three X minus X. So my sport profits are three X, but my percent change now is three X minus X all over X. Just two X over X. 2 goes away. Now my percent change, if I want to actually do the part where you multiply by 100 to get the actual percent, uh, it would be 2 times 100, which would be a 200% change. Found that without solving for uh, what my sporting event profits were or what my concert event profits were. So thinking here, at a minimum, I just want one of my guys in terms of the other. Now, another thing to keep in mind is when you have a question asking you for profit, a lot of times you have to break profit up into its components. So this is really the only business formula. I would say you have to know for the GMAN, and that is profit is equal to revenue minus costs. Now, I'm not going to do that here. I'm just going to leave this like is for now because there is no reason for me to break profit up into its components until they indicate that that is what they want you to do. And so for now, I'm just going to leave this as I'm looking for my sporting profits minus my concert profits all over concert profits. Statement one. In 2019, StubHut's total costs for purchasing sporting event tickets were 5% greater than its costs for purchasing concert tickets. So a couple of things. 
So I can tell just from reading this, this is definitely going to be insufficient. Because this tells me uh, about my costs for each of my two event types, but it doesn't tell me anything about my revenue. So if I want to know something about profit, uh, I'm going to have to know something about both. So just based on that alone, this will be insufficient. Um, also, though, if I want to uh, actually figure out uh, what this statement is telling me, if I want to extract the maximum information from it, uh, now it is clear that they are trying to get me to break profit up into its components because they gave me the statement just in terms of costs, not profit. So now I might rephrase my question so I can think of this like uh, I can rewrite this question sort of as just a minus b minus d minus d all over d minus d, where a is equal to my sporting event revenue, b is my sporting event cost, concert, or I should say, sorry, c is my concert revenues and D my concert cost. So in this case, what is this statement telling me? This statement is telling me uh, my cost for purchasing sporting event tickets. So that is my sporting cost. So that is B or 5% greater than the concert cost. B is equal to 1.05 times D. Because if I were to take my concert costs and increase them by 5%, I would get B. Now I'm not going to plug this in here yet because I still see it's obviously insufficient. And so in order to be sufficient, uh, I'm trying to eliminate variables here. I'm trying to combine things, cancel out variables, so that I'm left with just a single number in the end. So just plugging in uh, 1.05D for B is definitely not going to be enough to do that. Statement two, in 2019, Subbot's total revenue from selling sporting event tickets was 12% more than its total revenue from selling concert tickets. And so in this case, what is this telling me? So now it's comparing my revenue, but nothing about costs. So I can say, again, this would be a quick elimination um, of this statement by itself. It's clearly going to be insufficient. But if I want to know what it is telling me, because I am going to have to look at them together, this is telling me that my sporting revenue, so A, is equal to 12% more than my concert revenue, so 1.12 C. Again, I'm not going to plug this in here because it's obviously insufficient. Now, statement 1 and 2 together. So these are the two things I know. So if I want to try uh, and cut down the number of variables I have, so I will plug in this 1.05D for my B and this 1.12C for my A, which leaves me with what? I have 1.1, so A minus B becomes 1.12C minus 1.05D. And I want to keep my C and my D here because. I want everything in terms of C and D. That is the fewest variables possible. So now if I want to combine terms in my numerator, what do I get? So 1.12C minus C, that should just be 0.12C. Then I have negative 1.05D. And it would be plus a D, right? Because this is a negative times a negative. So negative 1.05 plus 1 is just a negative 0.05. So I'm left with 0.12C minus 0.05D over C minus a D. Now, you don't really have to go uh, this far. In other words, whenever you see that your variables are not going to cancel out, that is enough to tell you that this is insufficient because that is telling you the value for your percent change is dependent on your values for C and D. And so if you see that here, or if you see that before you even plug in 
uh, our equations from over here. That is totally great. And you can select E and move on. But if you want to sort of, especially when you're reviewing, if you want to go as far as you can in order to prove to yourself that it's insufficient, I would say this is about as far as you can go. So after this, I cannot cancel out or combine any of my variables. So there is no way I can come up with a single value for this percent change. Uh, under no circumstances should you do something like this. Cancel out the C like that, or cancel out the D like that. You are splitting your denominator in that case, which is a big no-no and is a violation of your fundamental fraction rules. And so don't do that. This is as far as you can go. Their answer is E. Uh, we are left with our C and D. So really, uh, we are able to get everything in terms of our concert revenue and our concert costs. But to answer this, we would have to know something about our concert revenue in terms of our concert costs, uh, which we don't know. So E is our answer. So let's continue working with some more of our percent translations the next few videos.